हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल प्रोग्रामिंग इन माय वे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस प्रोजेक्ट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एंड्रॉइड एप्लीकेशन ओके सो प्रोजेक्ट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एंड्रॉइड एप्लीकेशन एंड्रॉइड एप्लीकेशन ओके सो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विच आर द फोल्डर्स विच आर द फाइल्स प्रेजेंट इन प्रोजेक्ट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एंड्रॉइड एप्लीकेशन ओके सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ प्रोजेक्ट फोल्डर सपोज आई हैव क्रिएटेड एन एप्लीकेशन हेलो वर्ल्ड एप सो this folder will be created whenever i use android studio or it can be eclipse okay now on left hand side you can see different files and folders for this particular hello world android application okay so you can get very important file okay below this particular folder hello world app folder that is Android manifest dot XML file. Android manifest dot XML file. So this file is very very important file. You can call this file as foundation of Android file. This is foundation of Android application. So in this file, you can store or you can specify different things. so suppose my android application has three activities so all those three activities will be registered in this android manifest dot xml file with the help of activity tag like this activity tag okay so like this there will be three activities Okay, this will be for single activity. Then same code will be there for second activity and three activity. So whatever number of activities are present in your Android application, all those activities will be registered in Android Manifest dot XML file with the help of activity tag. Now, in addition to this, whatever launcher activities is there in your Android application, that will be again mentioned. With the help of intent filter code, in this particular activity, suppose there are three activities, and suppose you want this activity, first activity as your launcher activity, so that thing will be also specified by using intent filter. Okay, so this intent filter element will be sub element of this activity. so whenever you see intent filter and it's a respective code that is launcher main launcher action category tag okay and in that launcher activity specified then you can come to know that that activity is a launcher activity so there should be only one launcher activity in my application there are three activity but i can specify only one activity as launcher activity so if you have given assignment that there are three activities and suppose initially you have created first activity so by default first activity will be launcher activity after some time suppose you have created second activity and third activity and suppose someone has given you assignment that now specify third activity as launcher activity so what you need to do you need to modify android manifest dot xml file so just copy paste this code from first activity element and just cut cut that code and paste in activity tag of third activity okay so you can't specify more than one activity as launch activity so this this is the job of android manifest dot xml file now in addition to this in addition to this you have also so you can also specify the service services which are present in your application in this particular file getting okay. 
So what your number of services are present in your application, you can specify them in Android manifest or XML. And one more thing, you can also specify the broadcast receiver. So whatever number of broadcast receivers are present in your Android application, you can register those broadcast receivers in Android manifest.xml file with the help of receiver tag. Getting? So see there are four building blocks of any Android application, important building blocks of Android application, activity, services, broadcast receiver and content provider. So out of these four, you can specify activities, services and broadcast receivers in this android manifest.xml file getting so this file is very important and next thing sometimes we require permissions in our android application we need to allow getting we need to allow user to set permissions to use that particular android applications so those permissions are also specified in this android manifest.xml file getting so for example internet permission send sms receive sms camera permission call permissions all those permissions we are specifying in android manifest.xml file so this is the first file xml file okay so it is coded in xml language which is very important file of android application getting now next file sorry next folder is source folder next folder is source folder in that you can get java folder you can get java folder and then you can get package package folder of your android application okay package folder of android application and in that you can get java files in that you can get java files getting so this java folder is used for storing java code storing java source code so you know that android applications to develop android application we require two languages mainly xml language and java language user interface of android application is coded in xml language whereas the application logic we can code in java language so though that particular application logic is present in this java source code folder getting and you can get java files here that is dot java files getting dot java files so suppose I have three activities first activity second activity third activity then I will have three Java files first dot Java second dot Java third dot Java getting and in that we can write our logic what our activity will do what our application will do so that logic part will be present in dot Java file okay in Java file next very important folder that is resource folder resource folder so you can find res folder is there res folder is there and under this res folder you can find some folders for example layout folder first folder is you can find is layout folder so layout folder will have XML files for example suppose I have one activity okay which has two things user interface and logic thing logic thing is present in Java file and it's a user interface will be present in this particular file so user interface file is present in layout folder and layout folder is present in resource folder so layout is one of the resource of android application getting so if you want to design user interface for your activities 
then you should modify this file, these files. So consider there are three activities, that means three Java files and three XML files. First.xml, second.xml, third.xml and all these XML files will be present in layout folder. Getting? So this is user interface file. This is coding XML language. Next one, you can have raw folder. Now see, this is not created by default. We can, after creating application, we can create this. By default, it will not be created. But you can create this later, once you create application. Suppose you want to use some audio or videos in your Android application. Then you can store those audio and videos in raw folder. In raw folder. Meaning audio and videos you can store in raw folder. Okay. So this is very important. Next, menu folder. Again, this is this will not be created by default. You can create this folder later. Suppose you want to have option menus and context menu in your Android application. Then those menu items, for example, suppose this is my Android application and suppose this is action bar. Suppose if I click on this three dot, then I am getting some menus. For example, file, edit, save, exit. So these menus will be stored in XML file, menu.xml file, or you can take any any hello.xml file. Okay, in that XML file, this menu information will be stored, and that XML file will be present in menu folder. Will be present in menu folder. Getting next very important folder drawable folder so see these are the resources layout is resource raw audio video these are the resources menu is resources drawable is resources what is use of drawable folder so drawable folder allows us to store images suppose i want to use images in my android application then i can store all those images in drawable folder getting in drawable folder okay so drawable folder is used for images storing images getting again images will have different resolution that is low resolution high resolution medium resolution extra high extra extra high extra 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 high resolution all those images you can store in drawable folder getting next one is mip map resource folder so again it is present in same resource directory mip map so you can store logos icon images in mip map folder getting so these are ordinary images drawable folder will hold ordinary images but if you want to store see icon like this rounded images you can store under mip map folder and these images will have type jpg type jpg jpg or png that is as per your requirement okay so next one is very important that is value folder values folder this is also resource this is also resource so in values folder you can find different files getting you can find three files see first file is colors.xml so see whatever colors you are using for your for designing your android application you can mention those colors in colors.xml file so color is a one of the resource okay next one is styles resource so style this this particular activity require dark 
uh, style this will require uh, this activity will have no action bar style getting this will have hollow light style so all those styles will be specified in styles.xml file and very important file strings.xml so whatever string resources you are going to use in your android application you can specify them in strings.xml file now consider suppose this is button click button so the text of this button is click so i can specify this click string in strings.xml file strings.xml file so these are the resources but colors.xml styles.xml strings.xml these resources are present in first values folder and then values folder is present in resource folder getting so these are the resource things which you can use in your in your android application getting now very important folder after very important file not folder that is gradle file gradle file okay so you can find two gradle files one is model level gradle file and app level gradle file so we are interested in app level gradle file so in this file in this file okay now before that what is meant by gradle so gradle is a android build system so your android whenever we launch android application then at that time the android runtime will check this file first this file first so very important things we are specifying in this gradle file so which important things we are specifying in this gradle file that we will see so see first thing we are specifying the versioning things versioning things okay now what is mean by versioning things see i can specify these things what is mean sdk version of my android application i can specify max sdk version compile sdk version and i can also specify target sdk version getting so i can specify such things in gradle file in gradle file now in addition to this in addition to this see min sdk version max sdk that means minimum sdk requirement to run my or to use my android application that you can specify here getting so if you specify 15 here then 15 is api level of android okay so if any device which has version less than 15 getting any device whose android version is less than 15 then on that device this particular android application will not run getting similar is for max sdk version if i specify here 21 max sdk version is 21 then if your android smartphone has 23 android operating system version then this android application will not work on your android phone it will work but you can't use all the facilities all the features of this android application getting so these things are comes under versioning and in addition to these four things two more things are also important for at the time of launching our android application they are version code version code and version name version code and version name suppose and i have developed this fresh application and i want to launch this application on google play store getting so what i can do as this is my first version i can specify version code as one getting and for example version name as 1.0 version name as 1.0 
get it so see this version code is always integer number and this is float number this is version name is float number so see version code is important for developer whereas version name is important for user get it so based on this version code as a developer i can understand that how many versions are released by, by that particular developer for this particular android application for example right now we are using android pi okay android pi see we are using android pi so its version name is 9.0 so version is 9.0 getting and its so version code is 28 version code is 28 so see from version code i come to know that total 28 versions are released by google for android operating system getting from this 9.0 i can't understand how many versions are released so this pi 9.0 will be visible for user will be important for user user will not look to this 28 in fact 28 will not be visible to the user getting okay. so this version code and version name you can specify in gradle file you can specify in gradle file now in addition to this version in part you can also specify dependencies dependencies in gradle file suppose you want to use external libraries for example volume you can specify the dependency of volume in this gradle file okay suppose you want to use ios then you need to use its a dependency okay so these things are very important okay whenever we are developing any android application because whenever we are developing android application we are modifying these files getting okay. in addition to these things there is one more file which is again very important file and by default this file is hidden so whenever we close our android application then on hard drive or under hello world app folder you can find this particular folder this particular file this is java file it is r r is for resource so see what the resources we have used in our android application in layout color style getting string then drawable bitmap okay so for those resources android runtime will generate hexadecimal integer constants hexadecimal integer constants and those constants will be stored in r dot java file so this is very important see we can't edit this file if you edit this file then your application will be crashed so before marshmallow i think this file was explicitly present in project structure but after that as if we press control s yes to save our android application code this file will be saved and that is not allowed so that's why we need to create again our application once again so that's why they have kept this file hidden in project structure but you can find that file in this folder when you close your android application and you can see as the file name is r.java obviously the main class is r and those classes are present like this class layout getting we have seen layout folder is there getting then class id is there class drawable getting okay and in those classes there will be integer exact symbol integer constants like this public they are public static final integer for example i am taking one button in my android application 
okay and suppose id name is button 1 id name is button 1 getting so see suppose this name is given by me and then that exact integer exact decimal integer constant will be generated by android runtime for my button 1 id okay so whatever views whatever controls we are dragging and drop on user interface for all those views android runtime will generate the hexadecimal integer constant okay and these are name given by us these are id name but internally it will use it their hexadecimal integer constants and those hexadecimal integer constants will be maintained in r.java file r.java file so this is also important file at least you should know the structure of this file okay so i have done with project structure of android application so whatever i have discussed these files and folders are very important whenever we develop any android application so if you like this session so please like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel programming in my way thank you